We also have uh, 100 or so bottles of the 2015 G230. Mm -hmm. Can you walk us through that? Uh, the 15 or 17? 15. 15. OK, so the first vintage, first vintage, because then there was 2017. Um, OK, we, uh, we have two blocks, two amazing blocks of uh, Grenache. Grenache being the, by far the main variety we grow on the, on the estate. And uh, after, you know, once again, so many years, we realized that so uh, there was two blocks that were definitely sticking out. Uh, the, and the, uh, the, name, the name of the wine comes from the, the, the block number for the, for the customs, the uh, um, cadastral number of the block. And um, the B, B18 is a old dish, uh, Grenache on uh, limestone, and the G230 is an older Grenache on schist. The, um, the wines are very, very different, um, but they both yield uh, amazing wines uh, year in, year out. That's how you can tell a great terroir from a lesser terroir. You know, there's less variations, and also the quality is always higher than the other blocks namely blocks on, uh, on uh, gravel stone or blocks on uh, bauxite, you know, the red clay. Those two blocks are always showing better um, potential, let's say. And that's why we, uh, we started with the uh, B815 in 2012, if I remember well. First vintage of G230 was 2015. And um, not only we separated with the, uh, the, the two blocks, we didn't uh, blend them into uh, neither Carmina nor uh, Le Rouge, but also uh, when, we, when we realized the potential of the blocks, we dedicated that uh, uh, post fermentation warm infusion technique to those two blocks. Because when the potential is high, uh, you, can, you can really, really macerate and dig deep into the skin. There's no default. You won't, uh, you won't extract any odd flavors or bitterness. Or It's always highly um, qualitative and it's worth using that, uh, that technique. And uh, both wines were uh, aged in uh, 600 liter de minuit uh, wood at the time. Great wine, huh? The 2000, uh, the, sorry, the B815, uh, for me, is, uh, is, a, is a terroir that um, enhances, uh, um, what do you call it, varietal characters. It, it, cries, it cries out Grenache. It, it doesn't cry out Languedoc Grenache. For, for me, the, 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 the profile is more a Rhone style. Uh, maybe Gigondas, Vaqueras, or dare I say, Chateauneuf du Pape, maybe think of uh, it, it headed but uh, it's along those lines whereas the G, g230 is showing is far more focus uh, the, the fruit is, um, is a bit more sherbety acidity is higher and uh, when it's young it really shows strong pinot noir character which uh, for grenache is very rare and very uh, sought after by uh, Grenache lovers. 